Hey there, this is Don with the DIY Collaborative, and today we're going to be reviewing some uh, TP-Link smart Wi-Fi LED light bulbs that I got off of Amazon. Here's what the bulb looks like in the package. Once you get these, open it up and you're going to need to install the CASA app on your smartphone or your mobile device. Go through the app store search on the CASA for mobile app install this app on your device once you get the app installed it's going to want you to set up an account so you'll be able to go into the welcome screen click on create new account in the bottom left hand corner it's going to ask you for an email and a password and then you'll create account once that's done, you'll receive an email in the account that you specified with a link that you'll need to go and click on to confirm your registration. Once this is done, you'll get this message saying congratulations, you know, welcome, etc. Go back into your app and click on the continue button. This will then take you through some setup screens. Uh, you can set the location if you choose. I opted to go ahead and do this because I want to use the sunrise and sunset times uh, with some of my geolocation information that I'm going to set up later for my uh, smart devices. Then you'll want to add your device and in this case we're adding a smart bulb. So select smart bulb. Once you've done this, it's time to actually pair the bulb with the new app. Open the app once you have the uh, the bulb set in the lamp and I'll give you an, a demonstration of that here in just a second all I'm doing is installing the bulb in a lamp that's in my office for pairing purposes and then I'm going to move it to a room and in this uh, video I'm simply calling it bedroom uh, for the purposes of the demonstration this may not be where I ultimately leave the bulb but that's just what I'm gonna do once you install the bulb and power up the lamp uh, approximately five seconds after that you're gonna see the bulb flash two or three times and that's gonna give you an indication that it's paired if you haven't already done so when you're initially setting this up you'll need to go into your settings and allow the smart bulb to connect with your Wi-Fi network here's the actual bulb that I got I'm just showing you that before I put it into the uh, demonstration lamp and I'm just screwing this into the socket with the power off and then I'm gonna power up and we'll wait for the three blinks uh, that I mentioned and it is approximately five seconds uh, after you give it power uh, okay there's the initial power up and then we're gonna wait approximately five seconds and you'll see it blink three times in uh, rapid uh, succession one two three now the bulb is actually paired with my app once this is done, you can open up the app and you'll see that it recognizes what I actually uh, called this one and I called it Bedroom Light 1 for this demonstration. You can then go into this item in your app. You can change the brightness. You can go in and set up schedules. And then one of the th cool things that I like is you can actually go in and, and you can look at the metrics and analytics on you know how much energy this one device is uh, using how much time it's actually been used you can look at it you know by day by month by year it's just pretty cool if you're you know into looking at analytics and metrics and things like that you can set up schedules which I, I haven't done that yet but we'll show you how to do that uh, perhaps in another video you can add additional devices uh, but for this demonstration I'm only using this one uh, bulb So now the cool thing about this is, and another one of the reasons I got it, is it pairs with the Alexa app. So you'll go into your Alexa app, open up the skills section, type in TP-Link, and it'll bring up the appropriate TP-Link CASA module. You'll open that up, click on enable, and now that skill is enabled in your Alexa uh, account, your account which you'll be using. It'll ask you for the email and the password, but then it's you know pretty straightforward. And this is this is pretty slick, uh, I think. 
uh, the ease of setup and everything on this just went very smooth for me. I was I was quite pleased. Uh, I love technology and, and using technology and, and getting this thing in and, and checking it out was just pretty cool for me to do. Uh, once you've got it uh, set up in there, all you do is let Alexa look for the smart device and it, it discovers you know this device or any other devices that you have uh, set up on your Wi-Fi network. And you, as you can see here, it immediately uh, found this one bulb that I set up on my Wi-Fi network. And then I was able to go and uh, select that device and see that it was enabled in my Alexa account. And then all I did was move the uh, light bulb to another lamp in a bedroom where I'm going to use it. And I've set it up in a lamp here with two sockets. One socket I can turn off on and off as I choose. The smart bulb will be in the other socket where the power is always on, but I control it with the app. Echo. Turn the bedroom light on. Echo. Turn the bedroom light off. Echo. Turn the bedroom light on. Okay. Echo. Dim the bedroom light to 50%. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. These things are uh, pretty cool. They seem really easy to use, <clears throat> fairly simple to set up, and I only found one thing so far that I'm not sure about, and I'm uh, working with the company to uh, learn more about that, but you'll see that in another video. Thanks for stopping by the DIY Collaborative. We've provided some helpful information in the description, including some links that you may want to check out. Please give us your feedback, ask questions, and let us know what you think in the comments section. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing, and be sure to check out our other do-it-yourself videos. And don't forget to hit that like button.